Welcome aboard Legacy. It's a CNC 34, 1979, but built magnificently. Uh, originally built for the cabinet maker at CNC back in the day. He was an avid racer, so he definitely set it up as such. Um, but I decided to refit all the electronics on the boat. And one of those things that I had a lot of difficulty and I'd like to share with everyone is trying to integrate. Now I had Garmin systems for the wind vane and speed plotter. That's Aramar, but um, I had a NEMA 2000 connectivity throughout the boat. And after the fact, I a Raymarine autopilot. Now for those of you that are having the same problem, the Raymarine uses SeaTalk NG and my Garmin and basically all the other marine and uh, equipment use NEMA 2000. This equipment can integrate with Raymarine and I'll show you how. This autopilot kit from Raymarine came with this multifunctional display, the wheel actuator, a central sort of actuating unit, an electronic box, and a heading sensor. This particular sensor, of course, uses SeaTalk NG. And I will show you. This is the NG connector. Now, of course, that doesn't fit into any NEMA 2000 connectors like you would have for the Garmin setup. And I'll pull that one out here. And that's the Garmin setup. However, you can splice them together. The key to splicing them together is you get that cable, of course you snake it through, and you get yourself one of these connectors. Now the pinouts and uh, all those things I got from um, a website, actually I got from Amazon when I bought this connector and it allowed me to take the SeaTalk NG and connect it directly to this connector and then to the NEMA 2000 backbone. I did that with, of course, the multifunctional display, the actuating control unit, excuse my rat nest of uh, electronics panel. You can see I did multiple connectors there for various different things, but this is the connector that goes into the electronic actuating unit. And then this is what goes down to the actual tiller or the uh, helm actuator. And finally, the heading sensor. I had a NEMA 2000 heading center served from Garmin, but I had a lot of difficulty trying to connect this and this at the same time. They weren't chooching together. So, of course, I disconnected it. But, there's another splice. So you can see you need the male connector version for this side. And if you encounter where you want to make your own cable, you need the female side to go to the actual units themselves. This is a SeaTalk NG uh, plug. So you use the cables that come with the kit and you just cut them and then splice them according to the pinout diagram on that Amazon um, listing. I'll leave a link to the Amazon listing below. If you guys want to do the same thing, uh, leave comments down below and I will try to answer every single one. Thanks so much.